Hey guys, Luis Moreno here with Simply Health Insurance Agency, and I've got Will Winters from hey. CRM, the tech guru, and we are shooting today a series of videos. We are in video nine, and uh, Will's going to talk the tech talk, and I'm going to talk the insurance language. I'm going to convert what he says over into what we agents can understand. Okay, so... Today's video, and again, thank you, Will, for taking some time out. Um, let's wow our subscribers and hopefully new subscribers with this section, which I am calling SITES, S-I-T-E-S, just SITES, okay? And we're going to be talking about funnels. We're going to be talking about websites. We're going to be talking about forms and surveys and how agent CRM can with, with with the tools built into agent CRM, how you guys, how we agents can utilize those tools and help grow our business. So Will, with that, man, let's start off by defining the difference between what is a website and what is a funnel. Yes. I think another term to throw in there just to confuse you is landing page. Landing okay. page, funnel, website, what's the difference? Uh, at the end of the day, all of these different terms refer to the same thing, an online internet platform or presence, somewhere that someone can view www. your domain name. Those are all going to fall under that category, an online presence. So when you ask the difference between the two, We've got some examples we're actually going to show you today, but it's more in the methodology or the purpose of that online presence. One of the biggest challenges for a lot of businesses is capturing lead data or informing and, and putting a call to action in front of their audience. So that's what we're going to do with these funnels today is we're going to show you what it looks like to have an online presence and, and the little shifts between what is a funnel and what is a, a landing page or website. Um, biggest uh, difference, this is a great analogy that I've heard. Um, think of a website like Walmart. You've got aisles, you've got different sections. You can weave in and out of different sections. You can go back and forth, uh, visit wherever you want or wherever you need. Uh, maybe you can get lost too, but a funnel is like Ikea. And if you've been to Ikea, you know you have one path to take. You have to go through a series of, of design steps to get to the cash register at the end. You can't go back and forth. You can only uh, move forward in this. Of course, you can backtrack, but the purpose is to get to one destination by going through a, a series of steps. So think of that, the, the different aisles, that's a website. And we're going to show you with Luis's website uh, what that looks like. And then a funnel, taking action, following a path uh, like Ikea. That's a great analogy to keep in mind. So here's my website, guys. And I will tell you, this website is more like a brochure. This thing That's doesn't right. make me money. In fact, this thing costs me money. I got to pay. I think I'm paying like 60 bucks a month. I know I'm getting ripped, but it doesn't make me any money. Um I don't even send people to it, and but it's there. Somebody wants to go search me, but man, you're 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 like you're right, Will. You can get lost here. I mean, you can go to the about us, and I've got four places or yeah, four places to go here. You can go to solutions, and I've got this. You can start shopping. You can go here. I've got these resources. You know, if you're an insurance agent, you can watch some of our training videos. You can go all over here and. You, and I agree with you, Will. You can get lost. Yeah. I think the the thing we often see, people spend a ton of money on uh, websites, a ton of time on websites, and people don't take action. People don't convert because there's too many options. There's too many things to get lost in. It does give you a sense of professionalism. That looks great that he's got all these options. and And maybe there is still a need for that. But what we're going to show you, the difference with a funnel is that a funnel is action-oriented. 
it doesn't give you too many options. Let's actually um, compare now to our agent CRM signup funnel. Or uh, yeah, we'll do both yours, uh, but let's do here first. So if you have explored our landing page, you'll see there, start your 14 day free trial. Keep scrolling down. There's a video, start your, for your free trial. Keep going down. Everything on this page, start your free trial. More information, start your free trial. We keep hammering it in. There is one call to action and every piece of content on this page, every testimonial, every fact, uh, every feature, it all points to start your free trial. This is an example of a funnel. There is one call to action. There are not five different buttons with five different call to action. Simple. We want to funnel you in, uh, focus you in so that you know what the clear next step is. Now, obviously, you who are watching are probably not selling software. You're selling insurance. So what would your call to action be? Probably um, sign up for a consultation or fill in a quote request. Or in this example, uh, talk me through what you're setting up. Yeah, so ACA this school. is something new that we're working through. So we're creating, we, we, I went and bought the domain. So just so you guys know, you have to go buy a domain. And a domain is an address. That's it. I went to GoDaddy and I bought it there. I think it was 20 bucks for two years. Okay. So I bought the ACA school.com. Perfect. I got it. I own it. Then what I did is here with the tools with an agent CRM, we started building out this, this funnel or landing page where I want people to land. And ultimately, and, and we haven't, this is not 100% yet, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to get people to do something. I want people here to sign up for this free workshop. Okay, but I was telling my tech guy here, like, you know what, man, let's put in, what if they don't want to go to the workshop? What if they just want to book an appointment? So we're going to put book an appointment. Um, so it's a work in progress. We're just literally starting this. But ultimately, I want people to book an appointment with me so I can sell them ACA. That's it. I don't want them to go do anything else other than that. So I'm focusing very, very heavily on doing that. <clears throat> and this right here is... Would you call this uh, a, a landing page, a funnel, or is that really the same thing? Two synonyms. It, sometimes, again, it's, it's a very fine difference, and sometimes there is crossover. But if we're looking here, there is one focus. There's no, there's no about me section. There's no extra tabs. This would be kind of closer to the funnel uh, landing page side of the equation. Um, you know, Send me the free workshop. There's one call to action here. It's not uh, uh, a few calls to action. You'll probably want to stick that button lower down as well. But um, this is a great example of another funnel call to action focused one thing. There's one thing that this page is all about. And here's what we're trying to do. Now, Will, what did you call this little section here that just popped up? Yeah, so each um, website landing page funnel, you can have pop-ups to capture information this here would be a form, a forms and surveys. We're going to touch on that in a minute, but we need information. We need to capture their interest as soon as possible. So having something like this, I love that you're giving away something free because that is a great, um, we call it a lead magnet. What is the, the, the offer, a free consultation, a free PDF of, of need to knows for insurance, whatever uh, you guys have available. You can even find stuff online that is your lead magnet, but we need to capture that data through a form. So we've got a pop-up here. That's one way to do it where it's very obvious. Hey, you want this? Fill it in. It captures your attention by doing a pop-up. Um, and and a great... ultimately, you know, here's what happens, guys. So I'm going to capture some data. All right, I'm gonna hit send. Ah, I can't read. I'm gonna have to make this bigger, Will. The glasses are not that good. Okay. 
All right, there we go. All right. So now that it's done that, it's going to go to the next section where now I'm going to give them a free enrollment tutorial. So I literally walk somebody how to do it, but ultimately, I don't want them to enroll by themselves. I mean, they're going to see all the work that we agents have to do to get them into a good plan because we're, we're doing the right thing. And I'm hoping yeah. these guys are like, ah, oh, screw this. If it costs the same for me to use an agent, hell, I'm just going to use an agent. And you'll notice that in my video, I'm constantly or telling them, look, if you use us, you pay the same thing. It doesn't matter. And so, but what I want them to do is book the call. So when mm -hmm. this happens, now they get my, now they go here and they're able to book a call. They speak to an yep. agent. They put their time when they want it. And I've got this routed. I have three agents that help me with ACA here, uh, three licensed agents, and they take their calls. And hopefully this is going to be a, 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 as you said, a lead manic, another synonym, I guess, of, of landing page and funnel where we're trying to get leads and now we're going to try to enroll them. And yeah. uh, so, yeah, super. I think and, and I will tell you guys, we're not programmers. Okay. I don't know a, a thing about code, but all this was done within agent CRM, the tools that they have. Yeah. I think one thing just to highlight here, it is very obvious on each of these pages, what, does the contact what does the lead need to do and how many um, how many contacts how many prospects do you think are, are lost because let's put it this way how many times have you looked at a business and you just didn't know where to start so you just gave up it was too complicated there's too many options it just too much text to read make it simple make it clear make it one thing what do you want people to do make that you know look at that speak to an agent now is a big blue button it sticks out book a call it's very obvious what their next step is and that's what we need to do as we set up our online presence websites great but maybe you have a website and you're thinking i'm not getting any traffic or I even know if i'm getting traffic we want to set up a funnel an action oriented online presence that has one call that we can see people are coming through, people know what the next step is, and it's it's obvious and easy to find that next step. Oh yeah, this thing is, this is, it's it's a work in progress for me guys. I wish I could tell you we're loaded up with a hundred leads a day. We're not there yet. The, I started a new channel. I'm starting to put videos in there that are consumer content related videos. And yeah. hoping by next AEP, that channel is rocking. And then we're just, in addition to me getting Facebook leads and grassroots marketing leads and working my own backyard of P and C and, and everything else that I do, now we're going to have another lead source coming in from YouTube because I've done all this work. Now, yes. trust me guys, I don't have a marketing background. I don't have a technology background. I was eight years in the military. And then I spent a little a couple of years teaching and then all insurance. None of this prepared me for this. So what, the reason I'm telling you this is because you don't have to come from a tech background to be able to do this. Agent CRM makes it easy for you. Will, do we want to kind of show, can you do it on your show? Kind of maybe a little quickie process on how an agent can do this just so that they're not thinking, well, yeah, it's easy for you, Luis, because you already know this, but... Trust me, here's a here's a key deal. This morning, I didn't need, or yesterday, I called guys. I Agent CRM has this, and no other CRM that I am aware of has pretty much all day tech support on Zoom. I click on there, I get in, there's a guy waiting. Sometimes I haven't even set my stuff up. He's like, Luis, Luis, are you there? Hey, come on, I'm waiting for you. The guy was probably playing solitaire and kind of bored. And he, he was like, hey, I got somebody. So I'm like, hey, dude, here's what I want to do. Can I do this and this? This is what I'm doing. He's like, yeah, share your screen and give me control. And then he's just yeah. working his mouse, go here, go there. And I'm like, I'm trying to follow him. But they have tech people that will help you take your 
your vision or your idea mm-hmm. and put it into action for you. So, Will, when yep. you're ready to share, man, go right ahead. Yeah, I just got my uh, account set up here. Just recap for me. What am I diving into for so, our users here? Uh, just kind of where the CRM, the tools are within agent CRM so that agent can see, look, this is what's mm-hmm. there. I think there's even templates, right? Maybe in the click and play library that they can look at. Um, yeah, that's a great thing here. Let's uh, bring this up here. So what I've got, um, I'm in my own personal account. Now, I've imported a ton of funnel templates. You can see here, I've got a life coaching funnel. I've got an auto insurance, a fitness funnel, a health insurance. Let's just take a look at one of those to see. Uh, and on, on the left-hand side, you can see sites. That's important there. Left-hand side is sites. I've probably got way too many tabs open to load this. But um, yeah, we've got a lot of pre-made stuff. Some of you are thinking, man, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just scratching the surface. We want to get you a head start on these things. So let's actually open this in a new page. You'll see what the builder looks like. Most of these, our hope is that they are 90, 95% done. This is probably not the one I actually want to show you. This is a, a what's called a, a survey funnel. Uh, this one is just about capturing data. Maybe you push them from a Facebook ad directly into a, a long form, capture all that information. It's not the one I actually want to show you. My favorite one is the long live. Okay. So those are the good looking ones. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Nothing says uh, by insurance like a picture of a family. There's that uh, tug on the heartstrings. I need to cover my family. Let's just zoom out a little bit here. So you can see there's there's graphics, there's content. You could just change that and say, I don't want to do travel insurance. I want to do pet <laughs> insurance. So yeah, you get the point. The funnels are mostly set up. You know, find agents, all these things. We provide these these pre-made funnels, throw in some of your own content, connect your domain, and save. And we what actually I have like a full about this, guys, you don't have to create code to do this. Yeah. It's already there. You just you're just literally taking a title. You're taking this and you're putting your own info. You can even put your logo on there. You can put your own wording, your own reviews. I mean, you're, yeah. you're just, they're, they're giving you the skeleton. You're just building on top of it. Yeah. So you can see at the top here, I'm going to zoom in funnels, websites. I've mentioned the, the purpose behind separating them. At the end of the day, these two tabs, you build the exact same thing. The same website builder is there. But just in your mind, you can keep separate. If I want an action-oriented uh, landing page, I'll build it in the funnel. If I want something like Luis's agency account, maybe I'll keep it separated in the websites tab. But really, at the end of the day, it's it's very similar. Same process. You just have an online presence. Build your online presence. That's uh, it. So that's the. Let, it's beautiful. Just let people get there. You know, guide yep. them there. If you're shooting videos, if you're marketing, if you're sending emails, hey, do you want a quote? Send people there, let them get into that funnel. And then when they comes out of that funnel, you got a lead that you can now do something with. And that's right. You, and that's what you want, guys. That's remember the funnels like this. You know, everything's getting funneled. There's a lot of junk that's not going to go down. But eventually what comes through the bottom of that funnel is going to be a hot lead that you now can go and work. And that's yes. ultimately what we're doing. You don't have to go get a website builder to charge you a couple of thousand dollars to do this. You don't need that. It's all within the tools that are given to you in agent CRM. Yeah, I think I just want to, uh, I'm going to show that the templates where you can find them in a moment, but I do want to highlight what you said. You're getting um, hot, probably warm leads as well, but these people who came here, they are warming themselves up just by looking at your page. Oh, that looks good. Like th- this is professional. This looks polished. There's something about this that says, hey, serious agent, 
uh, some landing pages. It's a uh, I've seen some of our agents. I've seen what you guys have. It's it's functional, but it's not much more than that. But something like this, where oh that looks good. Oh, this one's in uh, Spanish, of course, but um, add your own text there. But you can see here why, why, uh, why Luis. You can see some of the features. You can see how many years of experience. You've got 20 years of experience. Here's the different products that you sell. And so as I, as a lead or prospector, being this, maybe you have some calls to action or some quotes. What do people say about us? This is a great thing to include. Because this tells me, wow, uh, Luis is a, a rock star. If he helped them, he can help me. And by the time that person, I would probably put that call to action lower as well. Yeah, all I would change this to book a call. Yeah, yeah I would change a, this book to book a, a consultation. Yeah. Yes, book a one-on-one. I like that. One-on-one -on -one assistance. And yeah, you I'd put that book that here. Room. Yeah, and then you're also going to put it down here as well. I'm surprised this template doesn't have it but it should also be at the bottom of the page. Every step along the way is a clear call to action so that when I, as a prospect, finally click schedule a consultation, I am so ready to, to just find out my next steps. I, I need insurance and I, I'm convinced that I should at least get a call with you. And that's the last piece before I show you the templates is that the whole purpose of a funnel, you are not selling them on insurance you're selling them on an appointment. That's a big distinction. A lot of people, they try to sell too soon. And instead, what you're trying to do is make it really um, incentivizing to get on that call. That is what you really want to hone in on is, is why should I talk to Will? What, what, uh, you know, what is the, the call to action? I see I'm at the gym. I see these Medicare ads. There are new benefits. You are not automatically enrolled call this number to get a free consultation something like that where you're like i'm not automatically enrolled there are new updates to policies that may benefit you schedule a consultation today to see about how we can align your insurance with your current needs stuff like that that's what we want to have on our funnels calls to action sell them on the appointment uh, at the very least just get a form a request form but schedule a call is a great call to action to include here. And here's a pro tip, guys. I'm not very creative, but what I like doing is I like spying. If I go see somebody's page or ad on social media out there and I'm like, man, what a great job. Go take a look and go try to not exactly copy it, but look at some of the things that caught your eye and implement them in you building your site. Um, you know, you don't want to copy their reviews, but still, ultimately, you if if something is looking really, really good for another agent and you like it, duplicate it in some form and see how you can build on it and then make it your brand. Man, and all of this, guys, is an agency arm. You can make this happen. It takes a little bit of work and a little bit of creativeness, but it doesn't take a ton of time for you to make that happen. Well, yep. do you want to show him where the, uh, no, and he's already updating this thing. So he's put in his, his name. Will's going to start selling insurance and quit being a tech guy. Don't tempt me. <laughs> I hear, I hear the money. Some of you guys can make. Man, <laughs> it's crazy out there. So let, let's show him where some of the templates are out there that you get. And you'll see yes. there guys he clicked on the left. Um, those yep. are some of the tools that are in agent CRM. He clicked on click and play assets. I am always on that one right below where it says live Q&A and it pulls up the Zoom meetings that you can jump into and uh, and there they are. Five, pretty much all day long. You can hop yep. in and join them on a meeting and uh, and literally you present your idea, your problem, your your dream kind of with it. And, and, and let's see, and those guys are pretty darn good. I mean, sometimes yep. I'm like, how do you know how to do this? I mean, they're literally, let's go here, go there. And I'm like, all right, yep. man, I like it. <laughs> let's go back here uh, to the library. Now we've got a few things in the library. We've got funnels, those websites, landing pages. We've got those. And we also have automations. These are things like email and text marketing campaigns, 
birthday um, messages, all those sorts of things. Uh, we've got all of our, our new content on the front, but because we're talking about funnels today, let's go there. I believe some of these, the picture has, uh, the, the template's updated, but the picture is not. But you can see in these examples, uh, annuities. Do you sell annuities? Grab the annuity funnel. ACA, grab the ACA funnel. You know, and again, these are skeletons, guys. These are the bones. Just get the bones yeah. and build on top of it. Yeah, this is the one I showed you here. Uh, long life insurance funnel. I love blue and yellow. I think those are great colors. Um, and the graphic design on that one is a little closer to what is my preference. Uh, again, I would explore these because they may actually look a little bit different once you download them. But the point is all of these categories, different products, you have a funnel. And you'll notice here that these are single product focused funnels. Now, some of you, you've got your landing page and you've got five different products. That's great for people to know that you can serve in those different ways. But I would consider building a unique funnel, drive traffic to it for each product. Uh, you can cross sell them once you're on a call, um, or you can cross sell them after you've made a policy sale. But convincing people about the one thing that most of them are there for, they've came through a Facebook ad, they've come through a campaign, sell them on the one thing and then focus on the others. Reduce their options, give them a clear next step. And that's what each of these different funnels is meant to serve. And they're for. all there for you guys. You don't have to go in there and reinvent the wheel, get one of these yeah. templates that you like and then start building it out to make it your specific website, funnel, landing page, lead magnet, whatever it is, ultimately you're driving potential customers to come out of that funnel, giving you information so you can contact them and help them out. That's right. Beautiful. All right, guys, you're wondering. So Will is going through all these funnels. Man, I want to get this. How do I do it? Guys, down below, you're going to hit the more button. Okay, it's going to open up the description and you're going to have a link there for you to get a 14 day free trial of Agent CRM. You get to play with this thing before they charge you. You're going to find out if it's good for you. In addition, guys, if you use my link and it doesn't cost you anything more by using my link, but you're going to get everything that I have created and everything that I will create. So guys, this I, I'm going to post another video later today, and we're we're mid February, where I was talking about all the Medicare automations that I have created. So we have some post MAPD automations, some post Med Sub automations, the Turning sixty five automations, the AEP reminder automations, and. I've already, I've already built them out. I'm giving you the bones. You go in there and you tweak them out, put your info and make it work for you. you you're getting yeah. all my Medicare stuff, my ACA stuff, a little bit of life. I don't have a lot of life. Dental and vision stuff. If you're a PNC guy, I can give you tons of auto and home automations that we use here in our office. And this is the key, guys. All right, this is where... You all should be like, all right, what's the key? Guys, this is agent created. I created this, all right? I didn't create the CRM. I created the workflows because I use them in my office. So we create something. I'm like, I think of an idea. I'm like, why don't we have that? Do we have an automation? In the bank? No, we don't. Okay, perfect. Let's create one. Let's use it. And if it works, I share it with you. So it's not some, here's something I thought of, hope it works. No, I use it in my agency. We have over 10,000 customers in our agency between our auto, home, commercial, live, dental, vision, Medicare, and ACA. So between all those lines of business, I've got workflows that we utilize. Okay, it's not a bunch of junk and you know, hey, hope it works for you. No, it is stuff that works for us. Agent CRM does not cost me any money. I pay a monthly fee just like you guys. Okay, in fact, I did the annual. So I already paid for it for the whole year. But here's the deal. It makes me more money than what I take out. It's a freaking slot machine. 
give it a little money and it, it just, but it pays off every month guarantee. It's like an ATM, all right? Slot machines, it's a, it's kind of a gamble, but this is an automatic ATM that pays you out. So you get good ROI out of it. I kind of love that. Again, the information down below. Will, any final words? Hey, I just want to share something that I've done since the previous videos. Um, I don't want to give you too much information. I'm, I'm breaking my own rules about calls to action here. But uh, sign up. That will be your first call to action. Uh, I would hate to give you a second one, but the, the big thing I want to show you guys, um, you might get super excited here. You're already you need to know how to use the system. So this is a new feature I just updated myself, super pleased and proud of. Agent CRM training video tab on the left. This course here, check this out. It's kind of like a streaming library. We're gonna have more content coming soon, but this course here will walk you through the nitty gritty of our system. How to use each feature individually. We've got a section for forms and surveys, a section for sites, section for emails, et cetera. So check that out in the training library once you sign up through the link below. Cool, and that's man. it. For awesome. So guys, we got a lot of goodies for you. Thank you so much, Will. This is video nine. Will, thank you for being on today's video. We have one more. And as we think of more stuff, we're going to put it out there for you. But we've got a series of a total of 10 videos. I'll go through them here real quick before we end this one. Uh, video one, we created how to get started and, and how to utilize support for setting up agency. So we talk all about the tools and the support that agency RMS. That's number one. Number two, we talked about um, getting to know agent CRM. So we talk about some of the uh, the tools that are on the left-hand side. We, we do a quick rundown of everything that you've got, the dashboard, conversations, calendars, the contacts, opportunities, marketing, automations, sites. And we have any, you know what? Are we already gonna bump it up by 11? Cause they have a new tool called Quick Meet. Okay, we're gonna talk about that too here in the next couple of videos. Um, we talk about contacts. That's video number three and number four. Contacts is how you make the CRM work for you. Okay. How do you import leads and how do you, how do you, uh, uh, what well, your different types of contacts, which for me, I have two contacts. They're either leads or customers and that's it. Okay. Video five, we talk about opportunities, how to use this digital, uh, board, to track the sell cycle of a lead. Um, and then number six, we talk about cross sales. Man, I use the CRM to help me with my cross sales. I sell well product, but I still got five other ones I got to sell them. Well, I'm going to have automations that are going to cross sell well the other products. Number seven, marketing. Okay, we talk about templates. Uh, email templates, text templates, all that triggers. We get a little more in depth into templates. Number eight, we talk about the actual automations, the stuff I've created and what are automations. And then of course, today we're on number nine, which is the sites, funnels, uh, landing pages, forms and surveys. And finally, when it's not finally, because I just added another one, just thinking about it right now, we're going to talk about some of the upsells that Agent CRM has, Agent CRM has for you, and then we're going to talk about Quick Meet, the new what what, it, what it, Quick Meet, the new Zoom-like software. Yep, it's a web-based Zoom replacement that directly integrates with your CRM. Uh, you don't need to download software, and it saves recordings into your CRM into that contact. I know compliance from Medicare. This is one of the biggest features. Uh, that is a selling point. Um, so yeah, huge, look forward to sharing more about that. Yeah, and you can also use it for ACA because you know now with our new rules, we have to we have to capture consent and confirmation, and you can do that via the recording of of your of your of your Zoom like call. So your and yep. it'll be saved in your CRM. Right now, my biggest problem is I like to use Zoom for my Medicare and my ACA stuff. 
but it, I have a completely different file. I have to store it. I have to, you know, it's a pain in the butt. Now it's all into my agent CRM. So that's going to be video number 11 coming to you guys. All right. So thank you all. Remember down below. Okay. Do me, I need, I need some, I need some info from you guys. All right. My arms are hurting. Okay. Down there, click on to get the, the free trial. And then don't forget, if you are not a subscriber, I need you guys. I need your support. Like this video, comment down below. Okay. I answer all the comments. I don't farm it out anywhere else. I watch them and I respond and I usually get back to you within a day and then ultimately subscribe to the channel. And I know you all got buddies in the industry. Share my channel with them and, and help me grow this sucker. I want it to be the best platform for you guys for Medicare and ACA and other insurance stuff so that you know ultimately our goal is to help you guys make some more money. Again, thank you so much for your support, guys.